everyone and welcome to Jake and Kate Adventures. Today we're going to be making Swedish meatballs. They're so easy and so delicious so let's get started. In a big bowl you're going to put one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground pork. Okay, We're going to add one egg to that. A half cup of panko um, breadcrumbs. I'm using plain. Then we're going to have a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, quarter teaspoon of ground allspice, and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg and pepper to taste. Add that. Okay. Now we're just going to mix this together really good. making sure it's really mixed really well. And while you're watching me do this, please subscribe down below to our YouTube channel so you get notified of all of our new videos, which we put up about three a week. All right, once you have your meat mixed, I'm gonna use uh, like a one and a quarter to one and a half uh, cookie scoop. And I'm just going to make these into balls. While I'm doing that, I'm heating up two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to get all of my balls done before I start to cook them so I can just cook them all in, you know, batches really quickly. And kind of save on cleanup, put a piece of wax paper down so your uh, tray doesn't get all greasy from the uh, meat. Alright, when I got to almost the end of making the balls, I turned my skillet on with two tablespoons of um, regular vegetable oil in. You want it to get hot. So we're going to start putting our meatballs in. Don't overcrowd them. You may need to add more oil as you go along, but we don't want a lot of oil at the end. So if we do have a lot of oil, we're going to drain some of it off. You do want some in for your um, gravy. So you're just going to brown these on all sides and then put them onto a paper towel. And um, then we're going to, after we get these all brown, then we're going to make the gravy. My meatballs are done. Come on in here, Jack, and show them. I did not add any more oil other than the two tablespoons that's in there. So that's perfect to start making our um, gravy. So you're gonna need a quarter cup of butter. We're gonna get this melting. And you wanna get all those little brown bits up off the bottom of your pan because that will add to the flavor of your gravy. It'll be delicious. Just kind of scrape the bottom. That's why I'm using a very heavy bottomed pan so that way nothing burns. You want this on like medium heat, medium low. Just melting this butter. We want the butter to be totally melted before we add our flour because we're going to make a roux. Butter is melted. You're going to add a third cup of flour. And now we're going to cook this on low, medium, medium low. Um, and we're going to stir all this flour in until it makes a nice golden brown roux. Now it will look a little golden brown because of the bits, but you really want to cook that flour for at least three to five minutes so that way it doesn't the, the gravy doesn't taste like raw flour. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep stirring this and um, making sure that all the flour bits are broke up. Alright, once your flour is cooked in, we're gonna slowly add three cups of beef broth. And the reason we're adding it slowly is we don't want this to clump up on us. We want a really nice, smooth gravy. And we're gonna just cook this until it's a little bit thickened. Don't be super thick. This is more of a runny gravy. Alright, 
once you add your um, broth, you're going to add a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now we're just going to stir this until it thickens up just a little bit. All right, once your um, gravy is thickened to your likeness, we're going to add back in our meatballs. Now we're going to cook them for about 10 minutes more just to make sure they're cooked through. All right, once I put my uh, meatballs back in my gravy, my gravy tasted a little weak. So I added a little bit of the gravy master, not much, just a little. That'll make it really a deep brown for you, and it'll give you an extra flavor, of, uh, extra depth of flavor. Now you're going to add when your um, meatballs are done, you're going to add a half a cup of sour cream. I think you needed a bigger spoon. Yep. And I'm just going to mix that in really well, but gently, because you're your meatballs will fall apart if you're too rough with it. Just kind of toss it up and over. Don't beat up the meatballs. All right, now at this point, it's done. You can put it over noodles, mashed potatoes, or rice. I'm putting mine over egg noodles. And I'm going to um, fry up some fresh mushrooms. We'll put a link below on how I do that. We There's a recipe uh, out there in, on our channel for that, so we'll put a um, link down below for that so you can see how I make mushrooms, if you want to add mushrooms. I'm adding them just to add a little bit more um, volume to the meal. All right, so here's the finished product. Um, I do want to let you know, I did put a note in the recipe that I added one can of cream of mushroom soup. It was, it needed something. It was, I, I can't explain it. I wasn't thrilled with it. So when I added the soup, it made it fantastic. I added the mushrooms. We'll have the link down below to show you how to make those. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.